Welcome back you guys to another episode of Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice. So before we get into this, I just want to say make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment, and share. It appreciate it. It helps me grow. And without further ado, let's just jump right into this game, you guys. When she was younger, she would lay in the grass and stare at the clouds. And there she saw them. Elusive. Shifting faces. After a while, she could see the faces everywhere. In the trees. The mountains. Caves. As I said before guys, I'm not going to be talking very much during this experience. This game is just heavily story driven and I just want to get every bit of story out of this as I can. So, yeah. And I'll talk a bit between parts, but most of the time it's going to be muted mic. Also, you guys stay tuned for a possible live stream tomorrow. I'll be streaming it on YouTube. It'll be recorded to YouTube. And you guys can watch it back later if you want. But, uh, that new DLC came out for a game I really like playing. So, I'll be streaming that tomorrow. It's dangerous. Don't open the gate. Don't. She's done it. It's so dark. It's so dark. It's dark. The dark. Only the dead may cross. Only the dead may cross. Only the dead may cross. no one here but me. Not you. Did you think that I would let you go? That you lost me back in the wilds? I will never let you go. You can't get rid of me. I am your shadow. And I will be watching when you draw your last dying gasp. I'm not ready to die. You will be when you see what they did to your dear beloved. I 
Ship Man. Where all dreams come true. You searched for control. A way to pull through. When you were in love, you left him in tears. To smother your furies. And banish your fears. But in darkness they came. Through stormy black seas they raided these shores. Do you still hear his screams? And now, at your home, he's so far away. They've taken his soul. To these gods you cannot pray. They can break you, but not your promise. Even death won't keep you apart. Through his darkness you will find him in your sword still beats a heart. You fought for love unspoilt by your darkness within. You fought for your dreams. Now there's no way to win. In the head of his corpse lies the seat of his soul. So you must carry his vessel to bring him back home. still beats a heart. The darkness touched you. Everyone could see it in the hollows of your eyes. A gaze averted from life. You ran from it but brought it nearer. Led it to him. An endless suffering worse than death. And you wanted to surrender. Abandon him to find peace with the gods. No. The darkness won't allow it. So you will walk into the lair of the beast. Look it in the eye, and you will go to war. This is your mission. This is your quest. There is nothing else left. Yes! 
I gotta say, the soundtrack in this game is absolutely nuts. Every gate you open into darkness brings another chance. That was a sucker punch, man. Whichever you come to the gold-covered bridge that leads to hell, you may find it guarded by a giantess. 
She will ask your name. She will ask your lineage. She will ask your business. The Northmen tell of the warrior woman Brynhild, who leapt into fire and rode to hell to join her slain love Sigurd, and is challenged by the giantess. I should have just done that first when I came over here. I feel like that should have been it right there. I'm not sure why it's not registering. Possesses large dwelling places in Helheim. Tall are her walls, high are her gates. The name of her dish is hunger. Her knife is famine. On her threshold, all will stumble. Her bed is called sick bed, and her bed hangings are called flames of a funeral pyre. They say she is easy to recognize, half black and half color of flesh, and her face menacing and grim.
Oh, Senua. Your father does not hate me. He just fears the souls in the underworld. He cannot see that they are already afraid. But I am their healer, and I must answer their cries for help, even if it displeases him. I kind of hoping I could just drop down there. Disgrace. The gods will punish you for this. Pick up the sword. Pick it up. Fight the darkness. Fight it. Get up. Get up. Get up and fight. Stormy seas and lost souls. She's dreamt of this before. They say dreams are visions of our memories, thoughts and fears, as seen by our inner eye. But what if each one of us is always dreaming, even when awake, and we only see what our inner eye creates for us? Is this what hell is? world shaped by Senua's nightmares. Maybe that's why people feared seeing the world through her eyes. Because if you believe that Senua's reality is twisted, you must accept that yours might be too. You fail the gods. You're pathetic. Rotten. Cursed. What were you thinking? Did you really think you could win? How stupid can you be? Everyone hates her. She's cursed. Look at you. A warrior. Worthless. Weak. Pathetic. Go on. Feel sorry for yourself. Because there is no one left to do that for you. Take it. If you're too much of a coward to fight, then end the suffering. Broken and lost. 
Just do like it. your sword. Do. Come on. There. <laughs> Why go on, when you give everything and face that which torments you, only to find that it is worse than you could have imagined? Why go on? Is it really so weak to ask this? Or are we just so afraid of the honest answer that we do not dare pose the question? Sometimes the answer lies in a memory, a feeling, song. It's not real. It's a trick. It's not real. It's real. Listen to it. She can't oh, give up. Did it. It's not real. Like this. It's not real. It is real. It's a trick. Don't trust it. Maybe you're already dead. Who are you? Do you still believe in yourself? Okay, guys, this is where we're going to end this episode. I'm probably going to put a warning label on that part right there, so... That one may be a bit much for some people, so... Um, but, as you guys know, make sure you guys like, subscribe, share, and comment. It helps me grow, and I appreciate it. So, without further ado, this is Crazy Steve. Signing off.